Welcome to this tutorial request. This will be about camera shakes in Unreal Engine. So we will create a simple camera shake and show a few use cases and yeah, let's just jump into it. Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 4.26. And this is the setup that we had from our combo animation uh, system. So we will be using this as sort of a platform to launch our uh, camera shake from. So creating a camera shake is very simple. It is a blueprint class by itself. So if we just go here and choose blueprint class, we can then search for shake. And we have a different, a few different uh, classes to choose from here. For our purpose, matinee camera shake will do fine. So we can call it BP underscore camera shake. Camera shake. Like so, and opening this up, the important parts about this is the information over here in the details view. What we have is our oscillation duration. So it's the duration of, of the shake. So we can take something like 0 0.5, which is half a second. Uh, we have an oscillation blend in and blend out time. This is how it will transition in and out of the shake. <clears throat> we also have a few groupings here. We have rotation oscillation, location oscillation, field of view oscillation. So these are three different ways in which we can sort of shake or change up the camera. So we can either rotate, move it or change the field of view. So uh, for this purpose, we're just going to be putting some values here because uh, these are the parts where the, the shake is driven from. So we have an amplitude, which is going to be the strength. So this is along the X, Y and Z axis in this case for location. The frequency is how often it's going to be uh, doing um, shake. So if we put some values in here, 10, 20, maybe 15, 30, and let's say five and 40 or something. These are just random numbers. And uh, when you're doing this for yourself, you would want to like yeah, do some trial and error and see what, what you feels good for your purpose. Because um, a camera shake can be made useful for many different things. It can be used to uh, drive home the impact of a weapon hit. It can be used for something like an earthquake, like giving a slow rumble or something like that. It can be for something like a trap or you getting injured or any kind of thing like that. It's also used for like subtle things to make things a little bit less um, digitally perfect. You can put in camera shakes. Uh, anyway, so, so changing these values up here will give you different results. So now that we have a camera shake done, let's make use of it. And in this case, we have a montage over here. So we're going to be pausing this montage and we're going to be finding a place where she swings. So over there, and we'll make a notify here and create a new notify and call it camera shake notify. And we'll move it to the location where we think it's good. So this means that we'll now create, generate an, a notify for when this happens, which we can then hook onto. So we go to our animation blueprint for this character. We type in camera shake notify, get an event for this. So this is the event that will be called whenever we reach that point in animation. From this, we can type in play shake. You get a play world camera shake. And this is the function that allows us to do a camera shake. It makes use of a blueprint, which we have just created, which is the BP camera shake. It wants a location. In our case, we have a character over here. So we can get the character and we can get the actor location. And then we'll hook that in. So the epicenter is the center of where the shake will take place. It will then take into consideration the inner radius and the outer radius for which uh, other cameras will be affected by this. So if we were to put in a thousand here, this means it's 1000 Unreal units, which means or translates into 10 meters. So anything from zero to 10 meters from this will be affected by the camera shake. However, how strong the camera shake will be depends on your fall off and your distance. So the, the fall off determines how quickly the, the strength fades out when reaching the outer radius 
and the further you are obviously the weaker it's going to be as well so these are all the settings that we need to actually play this now so if we go into the game and we start we have this character and we'll do a heavy attack and it should be doing a shake and there you can see so at a certain part of the animation it does a shake uh, and that's one use case which is very simple another use case where we could make use of this is something we have inside of here so in our player character here we have a very simple setup when we press the six key over here we'll start a timer by the same time as our current camera shake is this is hard coded now so this is not good practice but uh, just for this purpose uh, after that we create a uh, reference to this timer and in this timer or this event that's called by this timer rather we will be playing the world camera shake as well with similar parameters as before and using our actor locating actor location in addition to that we also have a key over here in which we can invalidate this timer so if we were to play this now we have created a continuous uh, shake so if I press the character it will start shaking and it will continue to shake until I press the other character to invalidate the timer so it keeps looping on like that so that's another case if you want to have something that's rumbling for an extended period of time and you don't know how long you need to keep it uh, rolling so you can have different events triggering the start and the end for it for example hopefully you found this video helpful if you liked the video leave a like if you did not like it leave a dislike leave any suggestions or comments you have down below subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future that is all for now keep on learning take care